Hey there foodies, it's Dale from Press to Cook and today we're diving into the ultimate guide for controlling the temperature on your Fisher and Paykel fridge. If you've been having trouble keeping your veggies fresh and your ice cream perfectly frozen, you're in the right place. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more kitchen tips and tricks. All right, let's get started. First things first, find your Fisher and Paykel fridge's temperature control. Depending on your model, it could be a dial, a slider, or a digital display located inside the fridge compartment or on the front panel. For those with a dial or slider, you'll usually see numbers ranging from 1 to 7, with 1 being the warmest and 7 the coldest. Digital displays often show the actual temperature, making it super easy to adjust. Now let's talk about the ideal temperatures. Your fridge should be set between 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 38 degrees Fahrenheit. 1.7 degrees Celsius to 3.3 degrees Celsius to keep your food fresh while your freezer should be at 0 degree F, 18 degrees C to keep your frozen goods rock solid. Got it? Brilliant! To adjust the temperature, simply turn the dial or slider to the desired setting or use the up and down arrows on your digital display. It's that straightforward, but wait, there's more! Proper food placement is essential for maintaining an even temperature throughout your fridge. Store raw meat and seafood on the bottom shelf to prevent any drips from contaminating other foods. Dairy products and leftovers should go on the middle shelves, where the temperature is most consistent. And those fridge door shelves? They're perfect for condiments, juice, and other items that can handle slight temperature fluctuations. Also, avoid overloading your fridge. Air needs to circulate freely to keep everything cool. If your fridge is packed to the brim, it might struggle to maintain the right temperature. So, give your food some breathing room. Now, let's troubleshoot some common issues you might encounter with your Fisher & Paykel fridge. If your fridge is too warm, first check the temperature setting. It might have been accidentally bumped or changed. Next, make sure the vents inside the fridge aren't blocked by food items. Proper airflow is crucial for maintaining the right temperature. If your fridge is too cold, you might have the opposite problem. Check the setting and adjust it to a slightly warmer temperature. Also, inspect the door seals to ensure they're not damaged or dirty. A faulty seal can let cold air escape, causing your fridge to work overtime and potentially freeze your food. And let's not forget routine maintenance and clean the condenser coils at least twice a year to keep your fridge running efficiently. These coils are usually located at the back or underneath the fridge. A vacuum or a coil brush will do the trick. Alright folks, there you have it. Your ultimate guide to controlling the temperature on your Fisher and Paykel fridge. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're now feeling confident about keeping your food at the perfect temperature. If you have any questions or tips of your own, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a delicious update from Press to Cook. Until next time, happy cooking and keep it cool.